All right. So today on Newbie Bat, got a special guest. We got my boy, Gorilla Keys. Squad. What's, What's going, going on, King? Man? Ghost House in the building. You know it. Congratulations, bro. I seen on, on you know on the new you know the new move. So how's everything going with that? Like, well, you know, what we'll caused the move and everything? Pro well, progress wise is is great. Single drop maybe what the day before yesterday. So everything everything's in motion. Movement wise, it's just more uh, united, like more brotherhood, more you know, right? Being there, you know what I'm saying? Right. Versus not. You know what I'm saying? Having the support that you don't necessarily need for you to bubble like you want to. So you mean by support? Lives. Like what you mean by support? Like a lot of you know the support to some people are different. Um, I mean, structure wise, you know, if I even in modern day social media, like you feel me, you might not share your partner's post, but you will share somebody else's. You know what I'm saying? It might right. it might not even be that. It can be the fact that uh, one of your partners could be out here in the game, you feel me? And you got a legit way for them to shake back right, you know what I'm saying? Get out the street and they not supporting you on the fact that you trying to help them out, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the, you know, at, at the end, everybody, you know, everybody has a dream and a goal that they trying to achieve, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, right. so you know, especially I mean, this, this during this time now, it's kind of hard to take a back seat to anyone, especially when you got a you got a drive, yeah. and you got a hunger for the music or whatever. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to when you got your own. When you trying to state your own opinion, like um, how this should be, or shit, even walking in, having somebody walk through your shoes musically wise, like you never know, like what your music can do for the the next person who haven't heard you but supports every move that you do. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. 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 Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, right. that's it, that's, yeah. that's the whole the whole ghost mouse ghost house movement. Right, like, right. It's, it's more like a it's more brotherhood than it is a organization. Organization, like, right? Like it's just like the same as this is with CTC. You know what I'm saying? Is you know what I'm saying? Even you gonna get this shit right, or matter of fact, you gonna do this shit right, or we ain't gonna do it at all. Like you feel me? Shit. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. ain't, ain't no slacking, ain't no hesitating. It's either you gonna go fully in or or you ain't gonna do it at all. Like right, you know right, right, right. So shit. Right. It's just at the point now, like, damn shit, keys, when when you gonna drop something? Like shit, keys, we you know what I'm saying? I keep getting asked this question, so shit, boom. I'm just giving the folks what they wanna hear. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. That's how I see it. Long overdue anyway. Yeah, like right. Ben, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Sorry for the wait, like you feel me, right. but shit, right. you know you always got to get yourself together before you can got down necessarily make certain sacrifices to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Right, real talk, real talk, real talk. Yes, All sir. right, cool, 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 man. So, um, have you have you talk, have you spoken with uh, WTBT any of the members since the since the the departure? Uh, mm. Everything's still cool. I mean, everything's still kosher to the extent. I mean. I know everybody be busy how they be busy, but right. you know, it's just at that point in time, like, uh, I ain't gonna reach out if you're not reaching out to me. Like, right. you feel me? If, as far as musically wise or personal, you know what I'm saying? I don't never miss business with pleasure, but like, right. at the end of the day, shit, we all grown. So and I, it's business at the end right, of the day. It's like, business shit, at the end of the day. And at the end of the day. You don't never post a, you feel me, mix right. the two. Like, don't let me fall out with you just because. Like, I chose to rock with some niggas who, you know what I'm saying, right. fuck with me stronger than I felt then with y'all was, you know what I'm saying? Right. And no, and no bad turn on you, none of that. Like, I still pick up the phone if, if, if some gangster shit was to pop off, but like, as far as that shit, I mean, yeah, I, I don't reach out. Right. Like, so I feel like at the end of the day, you know, you know, every every man, every female has a choice to choose what career they want to go to. Because at the end of the day, that's your career. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's whether you make a move for on it or you just want to play your part. A lot of people, you know, don't want to play the part, which really these days you don't have to because social media. Mm -hmm. You know, back and then it was so always you know, it was like, play a, a major a major part. part. Of like, like right, the like what right. It be the it be the attention. 
Like, I don't need the attention. I just need you to hear my lyrics and feel what I'm saying. So I know you felt that and you going through the same thing. Or if not, you know somebody who done went through that shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. We don't capping our shit. You feel me? Right. Ain't no, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Right. No fabricated shit. Everything that niggas rap about is what niggas done went through. Or like I said, or know somebody who done went through it. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Music in niggas blood. You know what I'm saying? That's the moral of the story at the end of the day. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah. okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so let's go ahead and dive to the very beginning. Very beginning. So uh, you're originally from? Akron, Akron, Ohio. Akron, Ohio. Same, same city as Brian. Same LeBron city as Brian. LeBron James. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So you never met LeBron though, right? Never met LeBron. <laughs> yeah. Never met Brian. You ever, so you ever go back home to visit or you, you oh, skip yeah, it? I, you yeah, know, yeah. I, I go back home. I mean, recently, most of the time, I've been back, going back home, we've been for funerals and shit like that. Yeah. You feel me? Like for my little brother, like, you know what I'm saying? That January, we had went back home, bigger him. But, uh, shit. Sorry to hear about that, man. Outside of that, man, you know, shit, we, I go back home, chop it up, kick it with my fellas. You know what I'm saying? Like, the other day with my nigga Meech car, Meech free my car, nigga bro. Meech car. You feel me? Outside of that, shit, I just be, I just, I go with the motion, bro. Yeah, so, yeah. You know me. I yeah. be in the cut. You feel me? Like, just focus on getting this bag, man. Pushing this music and, and supporting the niggas who support me. You feel me? Right, right, right. That's right, all right. it's about. Right, right. So how how old you were when you uh left Pennsylvania? The uh, when you left Pennsylvania, not Pennsylvania, Ohio. Uh, Ohio. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell I'm talking about? Ohio. When you left Ohio, what was uh how old you were? Um, let me see. Really, I left Ohio when I was maybe thirteen because I got. So you got some type, you got some history of yeah. growing up in Ohio. How yeah, was I, it? Um, it, it it it's really the same way it is down here. Is this everything closer together? Like you ain't got to walk a far ass mile to go to the store. None of that extra shit. Like you got a bus that can run you from the east, west, north, down there, all around town. Like you know what I'm saying? So shit, it. it it, it's it's lovely back home, but shit, you know, I done got adapted to the weather down here, so right. that being cold, shit is over with. How far yeah. y'all are from um, Cleveland and Cleveland? Cleveland probably like an hour away. Hour away. So mm-hmm. Cleveland, like the biggest city, like mm-hmm. so, like what's the big, what's the popular cities in Ohio? Like shit. a lot of people might not know. Uh, probably. Well, everybody know about Cincinnati, right. down Columbus, goddamn. Let me think, Dayton. They know, yeah. Toledo. Uh, a lot of bass players came from um, Dayton. Oh, yeah. You know, my dad, he used to, he used to play in the band with uh with Howard Hewitt. Oh, yeah, man. Howard yeah, Hewitt, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. yeah man. Oh, yeah. Howard Hewitt. <laughs> Matter of fact, well, we went back home probably, what, two months ago. They had renamed the street after uh, Howard. He wanted all the... Uh, so, Howard got his own street. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's what's up. Yeah, they wanted the... Uh, they wanted... Uh, he wanted all the, uh, the original band members out there. So, you know, I had... Went up there with my pops and shit. So, so you met Howard? Mm, not per se. I did back in the day, like, but it was back when they was just like how we is now in the studio, in the studio making stuff. music and you know what I'm saying, doing rehearsals and you know what I'm saying. Shit but like that shit's still wild though, man. You gotta think Howard Hughes was like one of the yeah, one great, of the one, one of the, the greats, bro. Yeah, one of the top guys. Top like, guys, you know bro. Say, like that music running in my blood, like, right? You feel me? It's, so yeah, that, that's some powerful shit there, man. Howard Hughes, man. <laughs> He was, you know, uh, he was with Shalimar. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, they had a lot of hit runs. They had a lot yeah, of see, hits. That's what I say when you say bass, my daddy used to pay the bass for him, like bass guitar for him. Like. Man, that's that's epic, bro. That's what's yeah, up, bro. Man. All right, so after Ohio, what's the next place you have moved to? Was it Georgia, or you had lived somewhere else before you came? We came, to Georgia? we came back, we came back down here to Augusta because well, when we first moved down here, I stayed in Cambridge. We went back home. Moved back down here off of uh, Travis Road, and I stayed over there probably till like 2010, 2011. Then we moved back because my grandma passed away. And then after that, after we came, after she passed away, we moved back. And I've been down here ever since. But I had my daughter. My daughter, she's six, so I had my daughter around the same time I lost my grandma, I want to say. So mm. when I had her, I just stayed down here. Yeah. Then I had two more after that. So yeah, 
it was over with, Brody. So that's like two, there's like a lot of mixed emotions going on around that time. You lost your grandmother and your daughter, so it's like you happy and you sad at the same time. Yeah, right. yeah, so. Right, right, right. It was a lot of, it was a lot, really, I say it was a lot of deaths, like, that made me go back home. Like, you feel me? There's right. a lot of them. But, the last, right. I say the latest one was my little brother. You feel so, me? so, why do you feel like when it comes to uh, family passion? Why you feel like death is the only thing that brings a lot of the family closer? I don't know. Like that'd be the only main thing that you probably see everybody come together on. But anything else, when it's like a joyful celebration, it's yeah. hard to get people to yeah. come out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why it'd be like that. I don't know why. And then it take it come to the instance now, like with me being like my mom used to say, like I used to be bashful back in the day. Like I ain't never used to say nothing. Now I'm at that point. Or I'm gonna say what I'm going to say, whether you like it or not. Like, so it just in the instance when my brother passed, my mom had cooked or whatever for uh, what you call it, Labor Day, and nobody blow down. So, you know what I'm saying? Me being emotional for her, I'm snapping on everybody. Like, you feel me? Ain't no way that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't push up, come see her, whatever the case might have been. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I told her, like, you done stretch yourself to the point that you don't need to stretch yourself no point. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to reach in, tap in with you then. Just let them be. You know, I'm going to be here for you regardless. Right, don't regardless. nobody call, check on you, know, you were none of that but me. You feel me? So that's just how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I mean, and I say it because it might play a little bit of favoritism in it. You feel me? That's why certain families might not get together. When it comes time for like Thanksgiving and everybody link up more so when it's death, but I I believe favoritism plays a lot in it, a, a, a bit a major part into it. Right, 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 right. And then a lot of the families are cliquish now, so mm -hmm. yeah, so it's like a lot of the separation. And then you might have family. one, you might have one cousin that might not like this cousin, cause like it is is like. It's real grimy back home in Ohio. So, like, you feel me? You might have one family member that's, you know what I'm saying, out here, and that family member, the other one not eating. So, now you to the point, like, you about to knock your own folks off because you ain't got that bag. That's how, I mean, it's grimy like that everywhere, but, like, I done seen it hands on, like, back home. Like, you feel me? You know what I'm like my partners, like how they move in, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Right, 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 right. All right, so being in Georgia for the first time, what was your experience in Georgia for the first time you came down here to Augusta? If you could remember that. Oh yeah, I remember, you feel me? I was like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was that guy when I first came down here. You oh, feel yeah? me? They used to love me. <laughs> They used to love me. I'm in the back of the school bus by four honeys on me. You feel me? <laughs> oh, so you, you, know, all, to, you was all man, those chicks. I used to had I used to had an accent. I right. used to I used to I used to had an accent. Like so, shit. They like, oh damn, I ain't never heard what he said before. So you feel me? But I mean, it was cool till I got to to the hate start getting real. You Come feel on. me? So yeah, uh, you start getting hate because you start mm -hmm. you had a lot of chicks. No, I, I used to I used to, no, I wouldn't even that. I wouldn't even about the females that. The fact I wasn't from Georgia, so right. they like, oh, he ain't from down here. And, you know what I'm saying? He what school you went to? I went to uh, Seagull, uh, Tut, Spear Creek, Hessler, Richmond, and Glen Hill. Damn. So, like, everybody I interviewed, they at least went to like five different schools down here for some reason. Yeah, we, bon we bounced around a lot. And she was like, I know how I feel now to have to find a reasonable rent to pay in. You know right, right. Like, you ain't know that back yeah, then. Your parents ain't like, you know. You're like, why the hell we moving? Yeah, I did. But at the time, like, she, you know, parents, your main focus is my main, yo, they want your main focus to be school. Right, right, me? right, so, right, right. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's right. how that shit went, but. Okay. Yeah, we, bounce, we bounced around a lot though. You know what okay. I'm saying that at one time, shit, it was just me and my pops. Like it wasn't nobody else down here but me and my daddy. So shit, we moved a lot on the rock, like a lot. You know what I'm saying? But shit, it ain't stop us from going to where the fuck we at now. You right. Feel me? Right. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So what got you into music? Like you know, what got you into like the love of music? Mm, 
I'd probably say the, the passion behind it, you know what I'm saying? It, it's similar to like poetry, you know what I'm saying? Another form of expression to express yourself without, you know what I'm saying, inflicting <laughs> harm on somebody or, you know what I'm saying, doing something outrageous that end up you will end up suffering from. You right. Know what I'm saying? And music that's that's just one of my go tos, you feel me? Outside of, you know what I'm saying, smoking my weed. Yeah. So uh, what's your earliest age you remember like when you started music? And like mm -hmm. who was your influences like doing it and stuff like that? Like like, you know, everybody, you know, you you had to listen to some some type of music that made you See, you know, up, go why, towards I mean, that. I used to always fuck with currency, like you feel me, like when I was in Ohio. The rapper currency. Yeah, the rapper currency. Right, right, currency, right, 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 right. So, like I used to love just how him and Wiz would link up and you know what I'm saying, collab on that shit. And I, I so I love I I listen to various metal, a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying. I listen to Mozzie a lot. You feel me? Because it's more of a life story type shit when you listen to him. But at the same time, shit. Currency was probably like one of the biggest influencers, if anything. Oh, you know okay, cool, 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 cool. Age wise, I can't really per se. Only thing, let me see. Um, when I went to a turning school down here, they said, uh, write, write what music means to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember exactly what I wrote, but I know I won the contest. You know what I'm saying? They say you want to, you want, you write whoever win and get Power Fest tickets or whatever. So, boom, I won it. But back then, like how I was moving, like not knowing who called on my phone, I didn't know who I, who I won. You know what I'm saying? I came to school the next day to like, oh, James, you know you, woo -doo -woo -woo. I'm like, oh, no, I ain't know. Like I was shocked and happy at the same time. Like, oh yeah. So when I do get back into it, then I know my passion behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, sir. All right, cool, man. So uh, getting with Ghost House. So how did that come about? Like how did you and Trip wind up linking up and uh how that connection wind up happen? Really it was me, it was me and T G first. Like it, I linked you said up T G? Yeah, T G okay, okay. uh Tindergard, you know what I'm saying? I link I linked up with him first, you know what I'm saying, bro. I've been up on the bro wing for a little minute, like Tindergard's you know from here, right? Yeah. Okay. Right, no, okay. no, nah, nah, I take that back. Bro from uh bro from Florida. Okay, bro from Florida. Okay, so um, I've 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 uh, I probably heard maybe a couple of songs, but that probably been like a year ago. Yeah. But I haven't heard anything recent from him. But okay. I've heard of the name and stuff. But yeah, yeah, okay. But yeah, he from he from Florida. But shit, I've been up on the bro wing for a minute, so shit, it had just got to that point. Like, <sighs> let me see. I, really, I I don't know. Like, I mean. I been I was being expressing to bro like how shit was, you know what I'm saying, going on between like group wise when I was with WTBT. Right. And he just kept telling me the same thing. You feel me? So it just got to that point of my like, art right, shit. Fuck okay, it. well well, okay, let's well, all right, before you get into the ghost house, okay, how did you get into WTBT? Hmm. I got I met I when met, I met you, I met you I met you with cups. Yeah. You was doing uh Be Quiet. And uh, uh sauced up and yeah, sauced up. Yeah. yeah, sauced up. I met I met cups and them through my last baby mom. Okay. So uh after she linked me up with them, we really we linked up in the studio. She took me to the studio because I'm like, yeah, I'll be rapping or whatever, but at that time I wasn't really, you know what I'm saying? You are like trying to like Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I was skittish, I still do it, but you know what I'm saying? So she, What was the hold up for that? Uh, I say money, you know what I'm saying? Still baby mama drama, you know what I'm saying? So once I got to that point where she introduced me to them, everything was clearing up. I can, I got to that point where I I can really- I can move. Yeah, and I can so push like, okay, the okay, music cool, cool, a little cool, cool, cool. bit. So she, she took me to the studio. I had spit a couple verses for her, you know what I'm saying? And then boom, we in there. We in there, boom, saying? boom, boom, boom. We drop, uh, we dropped Be Quiet and boom. So Be Quiet was the first song you did with them? Yup. Okay. Be Quiet was cool. the first song. Cups okay. came, grabbed me like, oh shit, bro. I need you on this track. God damn, I hadn't already was getting to some extra shit. So versus me crashing out like I was about to do, he came and snatched me and put me in the studio. So boom, we dropped that shit. Went from there. Right, right, right. And so how, when did CL come in the picture? Shit. And WTBT. 
Uh, when uh, my baby mom took me to the studio, yeah. it was uh, who was all in there? It was CL Cups, my nigga Chan, and uh, Raheem. Okay, it was all in there. It, it was just you know how how we vibe. How y'all vibe? Yeah, y'all be vibe. Like, yeah. Drinking, smoking, type shit. Oh, you yeah. feel me? Listening to Be music. lit as hell. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, shit. Boom, we did that. Linked up like that. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, um, the link up with Ghost House has come right after this. So, mm-hmm. and then you met Trip. How you and Trip wound up connecting? Me and Trip. Damn. That's Shout a, out Trip. That's a, that's a good trip. I mean, the Ghost. That's a good, that's a, that's a good question. Cause I can't even, I can't even really recall how me and Trip met. Like, like I just remember me, I just got, I know one classic moment me and Trip had it was outside of goddamn Icon. One classic moment, and I knew shit then. Like, all right, bro, yeah, yeah, my nigga. good energy, man. I got a good energy. He locked dude. in, then that nigga yeah. looked at me. I looked at him. You damn right. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Ain't sorry, my nigga OG trip, man. Yeah, that, yeah, that was up, man. That was up. So, um, what, what, what's your music like? What do you feel like as artists, independent artists? What do you feel like when it comes to that type of support that an artist needs from the general public? Because a lot of artists, what they do, they'll post something, right? Yeah. They'll post a music video, but they'll tag a hundred artists in the post. And won't and. The but then get offended and upset when the artists don't push it, not knowing that, okay. See, then I take it like this, bro. I'm not going to tag 50 niggas in this post if only five of these niggas is going to share my shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't care about how many comments is on there. True right. indeed. I mean, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, the support and the love behind that. But if you drop some or he drops some, you tag me in it. And I like it, then I'ma share it. Regardless if I don't like it, you know what I'm saying? I'ma still share it just to let you know I support it. And but probably buzz you in your ear like, oh shit, bro. Like you need to, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Redo that shit. I ain't where it's at. Right. So why you feel like something simple as share, it don't it ain't like it costs you a lot of money. I mean it don't cost you nothing to hit the, the button. Why you feel like a lot of people don't hit that button? See. Really? Motherfuckers don't care about the next next person if you ain't benefiting them. You know right. what I'm saying? If you ain't doing nothing to benefit that person, then that's how they feel. You know right. what I'm saying? You know I say? You know me. I support anybody who supports me. Support you. Right, 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 right. If you fuck with me like I fuck with you, then we gonna get this back together. If not, then shit. You cross that side of the field, stay there. You feel right. me? Right. Right, 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 right. Yes, so, man, what you think about the Young Dolph situation? Man, look. Got shot yesterday. It's sad as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But shit, bro. They well look, they did say he bust back, so I ain't I ain't gonna say like you supposed to have it on you, but shit, bro. You supposed to always be on your P's and Q's. Like, even if you in the stove getting you something to eat, you supposed to at least have one nigga outside watching yeah. the surroundings to make sure ain't nobody on yeah. no fuck shit. You she was man? too comfortable, cause it's like, you know, you know, he's in his area, it's his hometown. You know, his, his neighborhood, you know, you were, that's just like saying, you know, an area that you in Augusta that you, everybody know you, that's your spot. You know, that's where you grew up at. Cause he grew up there. Yeah. You know, he was going to get some cookies for his mom, you know, which, you know, no security, no other people. That, well, at least they did say one person was in the car, but I ain't see it. Yeah. They say his heart, like how, from what I heard from the video, like they say his, his partner was with him and that the police had him in the back seat, but. Yeah, but my thing is, if the partner there, like the partner could have had a drop on them because he could have even seen them running up to the store. Yeah. And then my thing is, I don't really believe it because if it was true, he got a shitty ass friend because the friend was just sat in the car. Because you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't no, 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 it was no reports of fire back from anybody else besides the people that shot inside at the cookie store. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know though. That shit yeah. fucked up though. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like the same thing with Mo3. What are the, some of the goals or some of the points that, like, when it's all said and done, like, what are, what are, what is your main, your final goal that you're trying to reach as far as with your music, your brand, the whole nine? Mm, really just get my voice heard, build this, you know what I'm saying? 
build my last name for my for my seeds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if I don't make it as far as I want to make it, you know what I'm saying? On the music, it's still gonna be something that I know I, I accomplished and I can say that I did, you know what I'm right. saying? Right, 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 right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, man. Before we slide off on newbie back, man, how can they get in contact with you? And is there any love you want to shout out? Uh, like I say, uh, to my nigga Meech Card, you know what I'm saying? How that box? Shout out my nigga OG Trip, you feel me? Shout out TG, Tender God ain't shit, sweet hoe, you feel me? Whole lot of ghost house shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we go. Y'all can reach me. Underscore Gorilla Keys on Insta Spam, Instagram if you ain't slick to the lingo. <laughs> and goddamn, uh, you know, Gorilla Keys on Facebook, man. You know what I'm saying? From Acker to Augusta. You feel me? I don't know how Before we know. slide, man, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the origin behind Gorilla Keys? See, my dead homie, my RP Sean G, my nigga Meach Carr, little brother. Like, okay. he gave me that name. Like, cause you know niggas just like talk shit just between the guys. Niggas like, oh boy, you look like seeds are planted at eight. I'm like, damn, Ooh, bro. Oh, shit, that's shit. a cold one, but shit, I'm gonna take that yeah, I take and, 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 and rearrange that motherfucker. So shit, they just called me Gorilla, you know what I'm saying? And Keys, shit, it's my last name, but shit, everybody already called me Keys. So shit, I just do the Gorilla on the front of that motherfucker. Dope. You feel me? That's dope. That's dope. Yes, sir. I swear, people come, people like rap names be like, I, I like to hear what, the reason I ask that question, I like to hear rappers like where they come up with their names because it'd be interesting. Yeah. Some yeah. of them be dumb as hell. Some of them be like, oh, yeah, that's be dope. Some, some, be, some be weird as fuck, but yeah. like, it, it, it's the genuine behind that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. This, this shit is something that my right. niggas back home want to see, like, right. you feel me, musically wise. You know right. what I'm saying? So, I just stand on my name, like especially mm. my last name, cause she, my girls got my last name, so she, that's all we got. You feel me? Right. It's right. a whole empire behind that shit. Well, I fuck with the name though. I like, I like the name. See, I, I, I'm a big fan on names and stuff. I hate when I hear artists. Certain names just sound lazy to me, like yeah. the littles. When you yeah. put a little in front of something, that just lazy as hell. Or the young. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like certain names like that, yeah, little Ookie Snooker or some shit like that. Yeah, like um, <laughs> nah, you know. it's not kicking. Yeah, and then Shiesty, you know, everybody trying to throw throw Shiesty in their name. Oh, so they're using the Shiesty now? You know, everybody want to be Shiesty, man. Right, right. It's like the craziest <laughs> shit that you didn't want to be back in the day. Everybody want to be it now. Like mm -hmm. that's crazy. That's weird. 